Football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. We've got underway here pretty promptly. Chief, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Ankel Di Maria. He's someone who rarely fails to make a big impression. He's such a silky, elusive dribbler and the fine finisher with the knack of scoring some spectacular goals. He's a player that this team will want to have on the ball as often as they can. He's a great creator. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. It's the channel. Lo Celso is onto it and can take it up. He's left his man. Oh, shooting chance! Yeah, attempt. That's the wrong outcome. The ball did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Alexandro. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Goes direct to the front line. And it's Figo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi. Di Maria. And if anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Di Maria. Lo Celso. Oh, that's nicely done. Modric. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rice. Oh, what a ball! This possibly the last play of the half. He's tried one. And this one goes for half time. The good side to Jill Blanks. He has failed at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at at the very end and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion as we'd love to see this momentum maintained so I'm looking forward to what's to come interesting half just missing goals so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break and we are already promptly back on the way well that first 45 minutes 
didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone could step up and... Big chance! Oh! And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Argentina can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball. Messi! Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Messi. It's a throw in. Argentina are definitely going about this the right way. Uh, no, it's just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Vigo plays it forward. This is good ball retention. And it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period, and it's 1-0. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And it's Messi. Made sure that that won't get through. Ottoman. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Aguero. Now it's Aguero. Room for a shot. Modric. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. What a game. End to end, it flew by.